this Italian artist called Salvatore Grau. Yeah. 67 year old. He just recently sold an invisible sculpture for 15,000 euros. The B-side word. What would you say if you went to an art exhibition and the the art connoisseur lady or gentleman showing you around and says, now, t- cast your eyes upon this yeah. creation. Yeah. And you turn around, because you have to turn around, because obviously you'd be facing the other way, and then you go, uh, <laughs> right? And there's nothing there. Yeah. And they're like, isn't it magnificent? Reckon- yeah. Because guess what? This Italian artist called Salvatore Grau, yeah, 67 year old, he just recently sold an invisible sculpture for 15,000 euros. Um, <laughs> I, the person that bought it, right? What's his name? Because I have a few invisible sculptures here. <laughs> Which I am willing to let go of for a brisk three thousand euros. <laughs> oh, I'm like, enjoying watching Devin process this. Would you buy an invisible sculpture? You're not buying anything. What? What do you? Yeah, you're buying. <laughs> but did you... You're buying air. When you asked that question, what did you think the possible answer could have been? Yeah, actually. <laughs> Well, I this it. thing went up for auction. I mean, I, I can't believe, I can't believe there's a video of the invisible. Well, so I'm gonna send so, you a link. How can there be? A, <laughs> oh, how sorry. can there be a video of the invisible sculpture? Um, it's well, invisible. This this auction, <clears throat> Emma. Yeah. Did it? Was it like okay? So next up is the invisible sculpture by Salvatore. Um, Opening bid eighteen thousand or fifteen thousand euros, and someone went, "Yep," and then it sold. Or did people? Was there like an actual bidding war on this <sighs> invisible? Alexander, it was a silent auction. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a good question. I don't have the answer for you on on the auction uh, itself. Was I'm going to send you a video? You can have a look at this video. Um. No, it's not for charity. <laughs> so, in fact, it's his second piece of invisible art or his second invisible sculpture. The first was called um, Buddha in Contemplation. It- Buddha in Contemplation. Mm. Uh, and it was in maybe in Milan, I think. Anyway, so it's a taped off area. And basically he said this is where this sculpture will always be b there is nothing nothing else can be there this is this is that the invisible sculpture will always be there so basically <clears throat> what he's saying is that it's a vacuum so when he's cast his eye or put something there it's a vacuum yeah it's 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 nothing more than a space full of energy yeah and he said even if we empty it and there's nothing left that nothing has weight. <laughs> okay. Well, he sold me. Uh, is, this go- is, is, is this guy on crack? So he basically <laughs> says it's energy that's condensed and transformed into particles, just like everything else in the world. He says- it Is he will, a scientist? It will remain forever. No, he's an artist. He's and an artist. Now, he said, now, it, now that it exists, it will remain forever. A con artist. You don't see it, but it exists. It's made of air and spirit. <laughs> Is there? I, I have to okay. check. It looks like he does actually make sculptures. Yeah. I didn't know if this guy just came out of thin air. <laughs> and then I'm just like, like a sculpture. let me just try this to see what happens. <laughs> I have a cool name, Salvatore. <laughs> but he actually, well, it looks like he does more paintings, but on his page, at least he's put the, he's put a couple of pictures up of a sculpture going up, so I assume that's his. Yeah. Uh, what are the other sculptures saying? The other sculpture, like real sculptures that don't they actually. Would, all they can say is it's art, 
Art is a form of your individual is, expression. Is that what they're saying or you're just assuming? Assuming. I'm really like, if someone spent a long, long time to create a, a, a great sculpture and then, uh, uh, like how long did he take to create that <laughs> invisible sculpture? I don't know. Like, you, you know what I mean? He did like, one of these. It's there. <laughs> what it was took, his it name? It took him his whole life, Dev. Sorry? It took him his whole life to, to find an idiot. Yeah. To find, He's 67 to find an idiot years old. To buy one. <laughs> I saw someone put a comment. I want to buy the sculpture for one trillion dollars, but with invisible money. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what other people are saying, but he's basically saying it's there to activate your imagination. But the you know, only... Like, he I did have... I, I, I could have saved $50,000 and looked into a blank corner of my house and go, I've got an invisible sculpture there. Well, it's up to your imagination to see it. He did have um, criteria that the buyer must meet and that it had to have a five by five foot um, space <laughs> for this invisible sculpture didn't matter That's about massive. lighting or anything like yeah. that, but it needed the space. Oh, oh, really, <laughs> lighting didn't matter. Lighting, of course, lighting always matters. Five by five. That's big. That's, That's a lot big. of space. That's a lot of mm -hmm. some apart. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say some apart. How big was your apartment? How big is your apartment, Alexander? Bigger than that. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to see it in concept. <laughs> no, I, I don't know how many. I don't know how many square. <laughs> oh, it's bigger than well, that. One warning. <laughs> Alexander. Mate, mate, if it wasn't bigger than did, that, did I'd be Did you buy worried. the invisible sculpture? <laughs> you I, I, are you the purchaser of the invisible sculpture? <laughs> I live in a box. <laughs> Someone commented. Get in there with a shop vac and suck up the air over the taped square while doing a Joker impression. It will be the height of performance art. And I actually imagined it. It's quite funny. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would not buy that. But people do buy strange things. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing to buy. <laughs> is this... Is this situation the epitome of... I've got money. I can do whatever. Uh, just in general. Because art only has value that in the buyer the, puts on it. In the buyer. Like yeah. That, that's it. Because there's no... Who's to say what, what art is good and what art isn't good? I mean, look. Me. I guess the thing with this art is you're never going to get... It's not going to go out of fashion. Because if it's your imagination, you can just imagine <laughs> whatever you want. So one day you might imagine the sculpture to be... I don't know. I and mean... <laughs> And everyone who comes back to view it, <laughs> like if you have anyone in your house and you're like, oh, here's, here's the invisible, they're going to absolutely love it because if they don't, it's their own fault. Yeah, and also it's going to create a talking point because one person going to be like, well, I see, do you see that, um, you know, that the, the curves over the billowing whatever and the other person will be like no it's uh the, the straight edges are what are attracting me like it's gonna create do conversation you, do you know what actually i'm just thinking about this if the person who bought it if they're if they bought it not because they're an intellectual or philosophical person but just because they're sort of like a gullible person not like yeah i've got to buy it this man's like it's got value he sold me it. on it you walk you walk into their house you know that like you know they've got it walk into the house and you go mate well have you got a giant penis in the corner of your room uh -huh. oh. <laughs> 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 wait what uh -huh. <laughs> um yeah well I, I i have multiple questions could you, could you imagine me could you imagine inviting yes. me to look at the invisible sculpture yes the pre-sale estimate was between six to nine thousand euros and the bidder got it for 15. So I, I don't know how you, you. I don't know how you ensure that. <clears throat> can you can you steal it? <laughs> no one can steal it. <laughs> uh, can you? There is yeah, a yeah, certificate your house of gets authenticity. Robbed, gets broken into. Thank God they didn't take my sculpture. Hallelujah! Should I? Fifteen grand. They just missed it. <laughs> mate, find a five by five space in your home. Put a little taping on it. Take a picture. 
and say that you've stolen it. Because how is the person going to prove you haven't? I don't know. <laughs> but I but reckon it, you could go viral big. doing that. Five, five by five is big. This is this is it. This room is five by five. Really? Yes. It no, is a not. huge space. Ernie? Well, it says you're taller than coming five over. Foot, Ernie. We are we are emptying the room off, and we are taping it up, for, and then we're gonna put on line that you've stolen the sculpture. Oh, five foot by five foot. Yeah, not yeah. five meters. Yes. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, that okay. I was gonna no. say. That's- yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it five foot be, by five I foot is still a big empty space. Yeah. But his. I was wondering why you're asking Alexander if his apartment's bigger than five point <laughs> five. Like I was thinking, dude, he won't be able to sleep if it was. Yeah, wasn't. that's why I said five. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to sleep diagonally, diagonally mate. Corner to corner. <laughs> <laughs> but the buyer, His head yeah, will be outside the door. <laughs> he said it must be exhibited in a private house. When he lies down, five by five foot space, free of obstruction. He said, when I decide to exhibit an immaterial sculpture in a given space, that space will concentrate a certain amount of density of thoughts at a precise point, creating a sculpture that, from my title, will only take the most varied. The B side word. 